all right everybody welcome to your 12th bootstrap tutorial in which we'll be learning how you can create models in bootstrap with the help of our application which we started in the last tutorial now in the last tutorial what we did so far is we just created this interface with the help of simple bootstrap and html css and so on so in this tutorial let's just go ahead and create the model which I'm talking about now a model is a fancy way of saying a bootstrap alert box now in JavaScript just like we have alerts like these this doesn't look very nice and you know it's just kind of static you can only have text here no buttons or whatever else in bootstrap you have models as alert boxes and you can basically customize them to a very large extent so let's take a look at one now first of all to create a model you will need to toggle it somehow so that the user can click on a button or a link or whatever and the model is displayed so first of all let's just go ahead and create that button now the button can be created easily with button class it should be a button and I'll just prefer primary button and a medium sized so this would just say um, upload your images and we need to add some more info here and that is this is a data toggle is a model and this would this would be the thing which which the jQuery would work on behind the scenes so even though you won't use any jQuery code while creating a model this bootstrap framework would make use of this jQuery file behind the scenes and would make your model work so this is a data toggle of model and the target now what this target is I'll be talking about in just a few moments so now let's just go out of this container because obviously model will be full screen and that doesn't make any logic to have that in container let's just create a model and this model should how sh this should appear is a fade now this should be ID my model or your model or whatever you like you can name this but make sure whatever you name this and whatever you have in data target is same so let's just say this as upload model why my and why yours so this data target should be hash upload model now what happens is behind the scenes jQuery would look for this data target attribute and would target whatever element is placed here now for this right now this is this div and then it would toggle as you can imagine now what I want is that this model should never be you know in focus with the help of a tab now if you go here and if you press tab then you see that this becomes focus then this 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 and so on so what happens is when I focus this with the help of my tab key and press enter nothing happens because this doesn't take me anywhere but if it were a link let's say it was pointing to Google and I pressed enter then this would take me to Google now I don't want this tab to accidentally appear on my hidden model so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna write tab index as negative one now what this would do is tab index basically defines the how many number of times you have to press your tab key for the element to get focused for example if I have a tab index of zero then this would be a first priority tab one would be second two and so on now obviously negative one doesn't make any sense but that's what it is for here and that is why I have written negative one because this tab index of negative one means that this would never be in focus with the tab key okay now the next thing is role which is a dialog dialog box <coughs> and obviously this should be hidden 
Okay, so now we have some bunch of stuff in here. This is the model dialog. And then we have content. And then goes the header. We are close, don't worry. Okay, now what I want is I want somehow the user is able to cross this model as well. For example, let me just reload this page and click on here. Now you see that this model has popped up, but you know you could just click outside this model to close it. But what if you want a cross button here that would kind of look more appealing so to do that you can just create a simple button with button and I guess I missed this here you know I just usually make sure to do that I don't know I just like it so this should have a class of close and data dismiss now this would be what it does and data dismiss would just tell the javascript that this button is acting as a model dismissal button okay so the next thing i need to do is i just need to add some close here and here you go let me just take a look how this looks it looks like awkward or something so I'm just gonna change it to uh, times and this times is just a heavy multiplication sign you see here that's it alright looks good so far okay so what we have got next now the next thing I need to do I need to define a title for this model and the title would appear at the top so let's just make it h4 and model title let's just say this as image uploader hmm okay so let me just take a look if that looks correct yeah so this is the title and this is our cross button the next thing is we have got some content and this is body I guess or maybe this is content uh, no no okay obviously we have used the content above so this should be body okay so the body in the body everything else goes so you can have a form here which actions as a your script file dot php or whatever you want to use this method and eng type or whatever the stuff you want all of that would go there so I'm just keeping it right now as hash method post why not and eng type this is multi part form data and just you just remember that you need to make use of this eng type attribute whenever you are you know just transferring a blob data which is blob is b l o b which is binary large object so you just make sure to use that whenever you are transferring some data like that and currently we are doing images so we need that all right now actually we are not transferring any images for this video series but you can try that so now the next is just simple HTML I'm just gonna create some and let's just say this is a label for input and this is image and the next is input type file that's pretty much it I guess Oh, alright alright so you need a summit button as well don't you so let's just say input type submit and 
Yeah, so that should just hold a value of summit. Simple enough, looks good and easy. So that's how you create a model. Now in the next tutorial what we'll be doing is we'll be adding styles to this input type uh, file so that it looks kinda nice and you can even populate it a little bit with some content if you want like you can say this file uploader would help you to upload and save your images online just in case your cat happens to delete your C drive or just do a RM RF or whatever on your Linux OS so you can just use that or something like that or any image would go as well so that's how you create a model in bootstrap and in the next tutorial we'll be looking more at it and you know I'll just teach you guys what we'll be doing in next tutorial in next tutorial so that's all for this one and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching